if you were to describe our relationship and, and how we look after you to somebody that was looking for an accountant, how would you do that? I would say it is a personal relationship, an open relationship. It's a supportive role and it's a positive role, which is important. Hi everyone, I'm Dan White. I'm a partner at Bishop Fleming. I'm here with Richard Tozer, who's the Managing Director and Majority Shareholder of UTM Consultants Limited. We're going to talk a little bit about his business and the relationship with us. So Richard, um, UTM Consultants is obviously the business you're operating now. Talk to you about your history and what you did and how you got to running that business. I used to work offshore as a hydrographic surveyor. Family pressures, family life, changes in situations made me realize that I didn't actually want to spend the next 30 years or so doing that. So I made efforts to start working onshore and the natural progression was to work within a, an agency that supplies personnel in that industry. So I did that for a couple of years and then decided that I'd have a go at it myself and started off a small business at home so that, that was your business before UTM? Yeah. You developed the business and then got to the point where you, you sold it. And then, yeah. and then what, what happened? You were sat at home, bored after a couple of years and thought, I oh, know I'm going to do this again. It was always a dream to, to get to where I was, achieving some financial security. The family decided that we'd uh, chase the sun for a bit and go move into Spain. So that's where we ended up for a few years. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's when we met. So you, you yeah. had just moved to Mallorca. The idea then was you needed to set up this new business mm -hmm. in, in Cornwall. So what attracted you to deciding that Bishop Fleming were the right yeah. fit for you from an accounting and advisor point of view? I suppose I actively involve you guys into the business because it's, it does give reassurance, not only compliance, but just the day-to-day management of the finances within the business you've got the expertise here there's a lot of support i think you guys do so yeah i felt very reassured and we we get monthly updates and if there's anything that we need or if i need you're always there that's where we were probably seven years ago yeah. five seven years ago when you started the journey that you guys have been on over that time is mm. is massive i mean you've gone through brexit a mm. pandemic um, offices, moves, everything. Everything that yeah. can be thrown at you has been thrown at you, yeah. but you're now a multi-million pound turnover mm. business making some good profits. you just got to see things straight up, not sort of hide about them. And I think that's sort of the relationship yeah. with you guys. You you know it, you listen to us, we hear what you're saying, and we do rely on you know your input to help us keep going straight mm. and not have too many problems. Aside from the business, yeah. um, there's a few different things that we've done with you yeah. on your personal side, isn't yes. it? I mean, there's yeah. When I came across to you, to Bishop Fleming, it wasn't just the business side of it I was interested in. It's very much the personal type side of tax advice and planning. So I look to you guys to hopefully give the full solution, which, you, which you've done. You've made it beneficial in some, some areas and helped me out where we've had unique moments of opportunity and timing to be able to take advantage of a couple of situations. So yeah, no, I trust you guys to sort of keep an eye out. How does that work for you having your financial advisor and your accountant in the same office? For me, it makes it easier. I'd, I'd rather deal with a business that can cater basically with everything. You guys know each other, you know where to go. You've got the information before you ask me, really. Mm. It's what I rely on. So it's not such a chore each year, bringing everything together. What's your plans for the next few years of a business and with yourself personally? I just want to clear off. <laughs> don't know <laughs> go to go back to the sunshine. Clear off and do Get that. back on that yeah. sunbed in the orchid. Yeah, possibly, yeah, I think maybe. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. I think, no, the business is going well and we've got a good team. And there is, again, there's loads of potential for that, but it is, it's a, it's a good business. But I don't plan on being actively involved in it. I'm sort of too old school, maybe, so <laughs> let, let them crack on with it. But uh, yeah, it's doing well. Thanks for your time, Richard. That was really helpful and useful to hear about your journey um, and how you enjoy working with us. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Mm -hmm.